As most of you know, Travis Scott recently brought Kanye out to perform on stage for his Utopia concert in Rome, which has basically officially signaled that Kanye is back in the public eye and back on his grind for a new album. And now we have quite a few good bits of info regarding this new album, so I thought we should go through and break everything down. Before we get into the rest of the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my content. So basically, we've had breadcrumbs up until this point for a new Kanye album, and there's been tons of speculation flying around due to his recent actions. He's been in Italy for quite some time now after previously working in Tokyo, Japan for a few weeks where he reportedly linked up with multiple collaborators like Digital Nas and Ty Dolla Sign. After being brought out on stage to perform with Travis Scott, we got a news report that Kanye was gearing up for a big return to the fashion industry and then rumblings of a new album started. While it does seem like we are in the beginning stages of an album rollout, it's certainly clear that Kanye is planning something and he is putting putting in tons of work behind the scenes. Yesterday we got a huge new info dump regarding Kanye's new album that makes a lot of things clear and also sets some pretty insane expectations for new music. Now I would say take all of this with a huge grain of salt because the source of the information could be lying, but I will say that the source has proven to be trustworthy in the past. Regardless, I'm gonna try to rate how likely I think it is each information point is true out of five, with one being unlikely and five being very likely. The album was named Named change at some point. I would say this is probably like a 4 or 5 out of 5 likely. We know Kanye constantly changes albums and project names, and I have no doubt that change was at some point thrown around among Kanye's team when brainstorming a new project. There is a large number of MBDTF level songs that have been finished. This one is probably down lower like a 2 or a 3 out of 5 in terms of likeliness for me. It's kind of a subjective statement and I feel like that term is used a lot just to describe like songs that sound crazy. But I highly doubt that the songs are literally like MBDTF and this is a purely opinion statement anyway. Many songs from the album are taken from older eras and none from any project worked on in 2022. This is definitely a 5 out of 5. We do have like real confirmation that Kanye has left all the Donda 2 stuff in the past, so I believe that it's not going to come back. The album's style is a mix of the college dropout and the life of Pablo and a little bit of Turbo. The Turbo here referring to TurboGrafx-16, which was a project Kanye worked on directly after the life of Pablo that had very similar production themes. This I think is around a 4 out of 5 likely. The last piece of music Kanye worked on was Someday We'll All Be Free, which does have that college dropout feel. She wanna leave. You know I follow God, so you should follow me. And I have no doubts he's revisiting the life of Pablo type production with how popular it was. Kanye has controversial but not anti-Semitic mentions of Jewish people on the album. This is definitely true, I think Kanye 100% is going to talk about his previous controversy with the anti-Semitic comments, which would fall in line with this information, but I don't think he's going to be saying anything on the level he was previously like on the Alex Jones podcast. Ye's verses are high energy and the album has insane features. For this one, I'm going to say the first part is like a 4 or 5 out of 5 likely because Kanye loves using his high energy delivery for vocals, but for the second part, I'm gonna say like definitely a 1 out of 5. I highly doubt most artists are trying to work with Kanye, but maybe that has changed since Travis brought him out. Ye has a plan for when the album will be released. Yeah, this one seems like something that you would throw into an info dump so that people can look back and say, hey, they were right. The truth is that Kanye is planning an album release probably every single day of the year. There is not a second that goes by without Kanye at least thinking about or considering rolling out an album or releasing an album. If you look back at the Donda timeline, he was literally considering an album release date every other week, and we ended up not getting the project for way too long. So I will give this one a 5 out of 5 likely only because it's just a base trait of Kanye as a musical artist. Just wait and see 
Emmett Till cover was fake. Covers are tough to nail down as far as truthfulness goes because Kanye and his team are constantly throwing around different album cover ideas and whatnot. So I'm guessing what really happened was that somebody at some point showed Kanye the Emmett Till picture, which Kanye said he liked, and then from there it was blown up to be claimed as the album cover, so I guess this gets 5 out of 5 in terms of likeliness. <laughs> Music for the album is heartfelt like Runaway. This one, I think, is around a 3 or 4 out of 5 likely. I think it's more likely that the album will be a mix of heartfelt music like Runaway and non-heartfelt music. Ye, Ty Dolla Sign, and Opium had a studio session together. This one is interesting. We know for sure Ty Dolla has been in Tokyo and Italy at the exact same time Kanye was, so that part of this information is for sure true and a 5 out of 5 likely. What I'm not sold on is the Opium bit. I think that was just thrown in to shock people, and I doubt Kanye actually did link up with Opium, so that part is getting a 2 out of 5. Some track lists have half new tracks and half from older eras, some almost entirely new tracks. This is most definitely true. We saw from Kanye's development process from Donda, he has no issues going back and revisiting old tracks while also focusing on developing new sounds. I think this is very likely, I just don't know exactly which track list we will get. Alright, well I think that just about does it for the entire album info dump. The thing about an info dump like this is that these statements are so broad and all encompassing that it will be difficult to go back and say, okay, those were 100% incorrect. A lot of it is up to the opinion of the person leaking this info, and they could always double back on what they said to make it look like they were joking the whole time or that they weren't actually serious. Regardless, I would say my bullshit meter is at about halfway for this entire info dump. There's certainly some truth here, but I think a lot of things have been stretched or made up just to get clicks. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.